What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Banking Creek Fishing. I'm out here with my buddy Cordell. We're about to wade a creek and do a little contest using the September and October Banking Creek kit. What's up guys, we got a randomized spinwheel app. It's gonna help us select what lures we get to use today. Each of us are gonna fish for 15 minutes and we're gonna see if we can catch the most fish down here as we walk this creek. Now we're gonna spin the wheel and see what lure Dustin's gonna fish with first. Ooh, Dustin, you get to hammer crawl with the Biffle Bug hard head. All right, we're tied up. We got the Minnesota flash color. I think it's gonna work really great in this clear water. Well, your time starts now. You better go. There's one. Get over here, buddy. About to expire with time. We got us one. Come on, buddy. Jump for us. Woo, nice small mouth. Well, all right, before period one expired, I was able to catch one good smallmouth bass. I had to walk a long ways, get to a really deep hole in the creek using this hammer craw. What I did, because I wasn't getting as many bites, I actually cut this thing down just a little bit so it was even smaller, so it was a small enough profile that these smallmouth were gonna wanna eat it. Finally got to a deep hole, unfortunately time ran out, but now we're passing on to Cordell. Let's spin and see what he's gonna fish with. Oh, come on. What is it gonna be? Looks like the Biffle Bug Junior on a hard head. So oh yeah, the same thing. exact same thing. Let's see what we got. I got a little bit of time left. I decided to take the tail off this Biffle Bug Junior right here and see if I can make it a little bit more compact and get some better bites. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, I need to get this one in so I can tie up with Dustin. Come here, little buddy. Oh, there's another one with him. Oh, come here, come here. Oh yeah, nice small mouth. Woo, there we go, there's number one. Oh, looks like taking off that tail did me justice right there. Oh, let this little guy go. I did kind of the exact same thing Dustin did. I decided to take the tail off this Biffle Bug Junior and I'm throwing it close to the bank on the other side and I'm dragging it real slow and reeling it real slow. I've been getting a lot of bites with this thing. It's just hard to get the hook set with this light tackle I got right here. It's Dustin's second turn. Let's see what he gets on this spin. Rebel Buzzing Frog, let's go. All right, we're gonna take this thing, we're gonna throw it next to some grass, we're gonna get some bites real quick. Are we ready? Dustin, your time is ready. Let's Go. do it, let's do it! Oh, I got him that time! Come here, buzzing frog. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. Well, still, he got us a bite. All right, well, we got one fish catch on the buzzing frog, got a bunch of blow-ups on it, but I learned a ton about this lure. This is a really unique topwater bait. What it is, it's got this floating top on it, and it's got the spinning back tail, so you get this really cool plopping action as it comes across the water. But you can stop it, so if you get a blow-up, like I learned on this last fish catch, you get a blow-up, stop that thing. It's just going to sit tail down in the water. They'll typically come back and get it. Really cool bait. All right, Cordy, I'm going to pass the bag or the torch, if you will, to you. It's your turn Thank now. Thank you, Dustin. Let's spin. Let's see what we got here. What we got? What we got? We got hula popper. The hula popper. The gas hula popper. Yeah! I got the hula popper tied on. Dustin, you got my time ready? Yep, we're going. Let's go. There we go. Oh yeah. Whoa! A little nice one right there. Another nice little bass. Oh, I'm scared to death. Do not hook me. Cordell, you're out. I'm in. You're out. Oh my gosh! You're the out. timer's already up. Already? Golly, guys, it's two to two right now. Let's see what Dustin gets on this next spin. Gosh, bless. Timer's already up. Guys, with the hula popper, what I did is I tried to make as long cast as I could down this bank, and I just made subtle pops. Let it sit still for a while, too, and that seemed to help me get quite a few blow-ups. It's a little big right now that I had struggled getting it in their mouth, but we end up catching a good one. Right now, the score is two to two. Let's see what Dustin can get on his third spin. Heading Zara Puppy. Let's go! All right, let's put the custom color Zara Puppy to use. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, did you see that? Whoa! Please get in here, please get in here, please get in here. Keep that rod tip down, maybe he'll, maybe he'll play nice. Play nice, play nice, play nice, play nice. <laughs> all right, all right, that's three, but I, th I think this one should count for like two, you know. Oh. Well, I'm kind of heartbroken right now. I uh, lost my Zara puppy, line broke, got some light six pound test on here. So now we got to pass it to Cordell, but it's three to two. You're up now, Cordell. Let's give you a spin. Let's see what you're going to fish with. Looks like the hidden baby torpedo. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> I got to take advantage of Dustin breaking off right there. Come here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Does that count? Does that count? Uh, you know, we'll, 
we'll, we'll count this. Woo, let's go. That makes it three to three. Oh. There we go, there's another little one. Do you know what, in this challenge, a fish is a fish. And we're seeing who can catch the most right now. Now it's four to three, and I'm up. Oh! Right at us, that was sick. Come on, little buddy, be careful. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, oh, that was so sick. He hit it right in front of me. Come here, little dude. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one right there. Heck yeah. Your time's up, your time's up. Time's, time's already up. up. Well, look what I got right here. The score is five to three. You better catch some, Dustin. I've got the War Eagle spinnerbait. I'm going to try to make up some ground on this dude. Right now, the score is six to three. Let's see what Dustin's got. I got it. Oh, there's one. Cordell! Oh. I caught one of your big brim. Woo! Man, look at that dude. All right, six four, six four. What do I got? Hey, it's little, but it still counts. Cordell! All right, number five. Well, Cordell's beating me five to six right now. We're going to our last round. We're each going to fish the yum helgramite. I got mine on a swing head. He's got his on a shaky head. We're going to drag him around for the last 15 minutes and see who wins. Hopefully me. Number five, or number six. Number six, count it, Dave. <laughs> number six, Davey's taking over, man. The boys got to go in the water. I got to take over the mic. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Woo! Dustin's got him good and got him a good and that's seven six now. Number seven for Dustino. Let's go. Come on now, Cordell. Come on, man. Oh, broke off. Broke off. That's a wrap. Cordell, I didn't mean to put the whoop up on you that last round there. I tried my best. I tried my best. <laughs> I think the whole key was using this Jean LaRue swing head jig here, this Biffle hardhead. This gave this Telgramite a lot of free movement. I was able to click it around them rocks, catch a couple of good ones. I, I think that's the key to it. Yeah, I got to agree with Dustin. That swing head, they gave him the edge today. But this right here with the shaky head on it is also another great option you can do when you're walking down creeks, you're fishing pond banks. Don't underestimate the shaky head either. Yeah. Everything that we fish today, it's in the Banking Creek Tackle Kit for September and October. I mean, if you notice, not a single bait we didn't catch a fish on. Everything catches fish. It's a great kit. But now all I'm wondering is what creek fishing prize did I win? Okay, so what did you win? We're going to have to figure it out, Dave. Very proud, sir. Thank very you. Proud, very well deserved. I can't believe it. Cordell, 